The catenary and the pantograph. Together, they transmit the electricity required to power the motors of an electric train. Electricity is fed to the catenary via substations, and when the pantograph enters into contact with the catenary, it's as if the train were plugging itself into the circuit. But how does it work? The pantograph is a system of articulated arms fixed to the roof of the locomotive. It unfolds and extends along a vertical axis. The horizontal end piece of the pantograph is called the head. This head is fitted with carbon strips. Their number and type depend on the nature and intensity of the current to be transmitted, DC or AC, for example. These carbon strips slide along the catenary contact wire, thus capturing the electricity required to power the train's traction motors. The catenary is more complex than a simple power cable. Minimum, it is made up of messenger cables, contact wires, droppers, steady arms, and tensioning devices. All these elements are supported at regular intervals by a series of masts. The catenary's architecture is designed so that even at high speed, contact between the catenary contact wire and the pantograph is permanent and uninterrupted. Let's explain. The cables of the overhead line are so heavy that suspended between two points, they do not form a straight line, but sag due to their weight. For speeds above 60 km an hour, and in order to guarantee a continuous contact between the catenary and the head of the pantograph, thus avoiding excessive power loss, the catenary contact wire must be maintained in a horizontal position. It must also be rigid enough to interact in a dynamic way with the pantograph. The solution? The contact wire is supported at regular intervals with droppers. Thanks to these droppers and tensioning loads, the contact wire is maintained in the horizontal axis with a controlled level of rigidity. These droppers have variable lengths calculated in accordance with several parameters, such as the tensioning loads of the contact and messenger wires or their mechanical characteristics. Alstom masters the technologies, expertise and simulation tools which allow the design of catenaries to be adapted to all train voltages and speeds. The group has installed almost 10,000 kilometers of catenaries worldwide.